This is Lesson 4.3, Congruent Triangles. Your objectives are to name and use corresponding parts of congruent triangles and to prove triangles congruent using the definition of congruence. Triangles that have the same size and same shape are congruent triangles. All three pairs of angles are congruent and all three pairs of sides are congruent and those are called corresponding parts. When you say that they're congruent, make sure that the order that you put the letters in matches. So if I say triangle ABC is congruent to triangle RST, let's look at the order. A is first. In the picture, angle A has one arc. In the other triangle, the one arc is R. And that's why R comes first for the second triangle. I say B second. B is the double arc angle, and S is the double arc angle on the other one. So S is second in the second triangle. If I say C last, C is the triple arc, and T is the triple arc in the other one, so T is last. So make sure you match up the angles properly. The third angles theorem says that if two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of a second triangle, then the third pair of angles is also congruent. So keep that in mind. Show that the polygons are congruent by identifying all congruent corresponding parts, then write a congruent statement. So let's match up the parts. On the bottom, angle A is congruent to angle D on the top. They both have one arc. Angle ABC on the bottom has a double arc. It's congruent to angle DCB on the top, which is a double arc. Angle ACB on the bottom is the triple arc, and it's congruent to angle DBC on the top. So match up the angles according to how many arcs they have. For the segments, segment AB has one tick on it. That's congruent to segment DC. Segment AC has two ticks on it, and that's congruent to segment BD with two ticks on it. And since they share side BC, side BC on the bottom triangle has to be congruent to side BC on the top triangle, even though it's not marked. but we can still mark it. It's congruent to itself. So for our congruence statement, triangle A, B, C is congruent to, make sure you get the order right, it'll be triangle D, C, B. If A is first, that's the single arc, and angle D is the single arc in the other one. B is second, that's the double arc, and C is the double arc in the other one. C is last, that's the triple arc, and that matches B, which is the triple arc in the other one. So match up all of the corresponding parts check the number of arcs and ticks that they have labeled on them, and then write the congruence statement, matching up the letters when you say the triangles are congruent. To prove triangles are congruent, you need to show that all corresponding angle pairs are congruent and all corresponding side pairs are congruent. Notice the phrase if and only if, which can be abbreviated IFF. That means that both the conditional and the converse is true. For triangles, corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. And that has the abbreviation CPCTC. So once you know that triangles are congruent, you know that all of their corresponding parts are congruent. So when you're trying to prove that triangles are congruent, 
make sure that you match up all of the side pairs and all of the angle pairs. Once you have done that, then you can say that the triangles are congruent. Write a two column proof. Number one, given angle A is congruent to angle C, angle D is congruent to angle B, segment AD is congruent to segment CB, segment AE is congruent to segment CE, and segment AC bisects segment BD, prove that triangle AED is congruent to triangle CEB. Now the goal is to prove that the triangles are congruent. In order to do that, I need to show that all three pairs of angles are congruent and all three pairs of sides are congruent. Once I've done that, then the triangles are congruent. So as always, let's start with what we're given. Angle A is congruent to angle C, and you can mark those in the picture. Angle D is congruent to angle B. Put a double arc on those. Segment AD is congruent to segment CB. You can mark those segments. Segment AE is congruent to segment CE. Mark those segments. And segment AC bisects segment BD. And we know that's true because it was given to us. Now I know two pairs of angles that are congruent and two pairs of sides that are congruent. How can I get the third pair of angles and the third pair of sides? Well, look at what else you're given. Segment AC bisects segment BD. So segment BD is cut in half, and each of those halves is that third pair of segments. So let's make those congruent. Segment DE is congruent to segment BE. Why? because segment AC bisected segment BD and that's the definition of a segment bisector. It cuts a segment into two congruent parts. For the third pair of angles, remember if you know two pairs of angles are congruent then the third pair of angles has to be congruent. So I can go ahead and say that angle AED is congruent to angle BEC. Why? Because of the third angles theorem. The third angles theorem says that if you have two triangles and you have two pairs of angles congruent, then the third pair of angles has to be congruent. Remember the goal. I'm trying to prove the triangles congruent. And now, since I have all three pairs of sides congruent and all three pairs of angles congruent, I can say that the triangles are congruent. Write it just the way they say. Triangle AED is congruent to triangle CEB. Why? Because all three pairs of sides are congruent and all three pairs of angles are congruent. And that's the definition of congruent polygons. So try to get all the pairs of angles congruent and all the pairs of sides congruent. Look for extra information they give you, like the segment bisector, which gave us two congruent segments, and then the third angles theorem, which gave us that third pair of angles. Once you have enough, the triangles are congruent. So with congruent triangles, all three pairs of angles are congruent and all three pairs of sides are congruent. Pay attention to the congruent statement and match things up correctly. The letters have a specific order and they must match up. In this most recent one, in statement four, triangle AED is congruent to triangle CEB. A is first and C is first. Those angles match up. D is last and B is last. Those angles match up. So just get everything in the correct order. Everything matches up. Look for the extra clues to show that the triangles are congruent by getting the extra pairs of sides and extra pairs of angles. Once you've done all that, you've got it.